The magistrate's court here in Jerusalem sentencing Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's wife, Sarah, to pay $15,000 in a fine she reached in a plea deal. Now, Sarah Netanyahu faced charges of fraud and breach of trust over allegations that she misspent $100,000 in taxpayer money on catering and chefs at the prime minister's residence. The prosecution argued that this was in violation of guidelines and therefore public money was spent on a private expense. Netanyahu uh, pled guilty to a far lesser charge than fraud and breach of trust, instead admitting uh, the criminal charge of taking advantage of someone else's mistake. Now, her lawyers are continuing to paint her as a victim of a kind of witch hunt, uh, the media and the prosecution going after her to try to topple her husband's government and push him out of power. Uh, but the prosecution says that this was a just and balanced decision that sends a clear message that no matter where you live, even in the prime minister's residence, uh, that state money, taxpayer money cannot be misused. Uh, take a listen to what uh, one of the state prosecutors had to say. Netanyahu was convicted today after pleading guilty in a criminal offense using 175,000 shekels of public money for private expenses. And all this doing happened in the prime minister's house. Uh, this result was achieved through a plea bargain in which she admits and pays a fine of 55,000 shekels. Thank you. Sarah Netanyahu still faces the possibility of civil charges brought by the state. That is a decision that the Attorney General Avichai Mandelblit will make in the coming months.